Well, it's the middle of the winter, and I thought it would be a, a great idea to go out and buy some steamed crabs. So I did. Bought a dozen large, big, beautiful crabs, and uh, got them home. Super excited to eat them. Something I don't typically do, but it's the middle of the winter, and I can't go crabbing and catch the crabs myself. So I went and bought some crabs steamed by a local restaurant. I'm not going to say who it is because I'm not going to blast them, but they're not up to my standards. I, uh, as soon as I took the bite of the first one, I just, it just tasted old to me. Is that a good word for it? Old? Yes. It's just... Reheated. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm used to catching crabs and steaming them the same day and this isn't the ticket. So I was like, what a great opportunity to make some cream of crab soup. We're going to make lemonade out of lemons and these are our lemons today. So we're, we're going to do, she's already picked... A bunch of them we're gonna finish picking these and then we'll make some cream of crab soup so let's pick them and there we go we have all our crab meat picked looks like plenty for cream of crab soup this would have definitely probably been a little easier and cheaper if we went out and just bought crab meat but this situation we're put in and we're gonna make the best of it I love cooking so let's cook some cream of crab soup all right so I ran out the store because we needed some half and half and some heavy whipping cream I will say we're going to try a low carb version, so we're going to use coconut flour instead of regular flour. Now this is my own recipe, I made it years ago. We're going to have a couple little tweaks, but I think it's going to turn out quite well. We try to stay away from carbs as much as we can, as much as we can. We practice keto on and off, I should say. But first, let's go with uh, the half and half. we got a, one quart, so this is four cups. We're going to first take two of those cups and mix it with a little bit of the flour. So we're gonna take two cups of the half and half. We're gonna go with four tablespoons of flour. If you don't care about your carbs, you can use regular old flour. But we're gonna try it with coconut flour. So we're gonna do four tablespoons of coconut flour. Those are pretty heaping tablespoons, so I'm gonna make that one a little lighter. So we're just gonna mix that up, blend that up. You gotta blend that a little better than that, but for right now we're gonna get that blend going on. And we're gonna take half a stick of butter and put it in a pot and get that going. Let me get my knife off of there. So half a stick of butter, get that melted, and then we're gonna finish mixing that and slowly add that to this. So our butter's melted, and we're going to slowly add our flour in half and half mixture. And just slowly add this until it thickens. This is, I guess, what you call your roux. So we're going to add that. Keep the heat kind of low, because you don't want to boil it at this point. You just want it to thicken up. So getting this to thicken up you need some patience it's been about 20 minutes and it's, it's definitely started to thicken up here so we're going to start adding some of our ingredients first and foremost Old Bay seasoning we're going to do three tablespoons does that fit in there? Ooh, it does barely three tablespoons of Old Bay Ooh, that just fits in there Love our old bay around here. Woo! That's a lot of old bay. A fourth of a teaspoon of celery seed. Then we're gonna do half of a teaspoon of dry mustard, mustard powder. And this is really thickening up now. So we're gonna go right in and add one pint of heavy whipping cream. Well, that's Really getting thick with the with all the old bay in there. So there we go. Let's add that. We'll get that stirring. Pretty much add all your ingredients at this point, except for the your crab meat and cooking sherry, which we'll put in at the end. So we have all of our seasonings in. We added the heavy whipping cream. Then we have our other two cups of our half and half. So we're just gonna add that to this now. And then we're gonna have to thicken this back up again before we add our crab meat and our cooking sherry. So at this time, you can turn it up a little bit, turn up your heat, and get this going until this thickens up. 
and a little way to help thicken this up if you're not worried about the carbs. You can add more flour to it or since we're doing a low carbohydrate thing, we can always add some Parmesan cheese to help thicken it up. So, but we're gonna cook this for a little while and see how thick we can get it without adding anything extra to it. It's definitely getting thicker, but we're gonna we're gonna help it out just a little bit. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Like I said, you could add a little more flour if you want to help thicken it up, or if you have more time, you can just keep slowly cooking it. But it's getting late here, so we're gonna kick start it a little bit. And hey, we like to keep it cheesy. Just like earlier, you need a little patience, but you can make it as thick or as thin as you want it. I like it to stick to the spoon a little bit. So now we're gonna add our sherry. We're gonna do four tablespoons of cooking sherry. See if I can do this without spilling it all over the place. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna stir that up, and we'll add our crab meat, and we'll finally be eating dinner, honey. And last but not least, we add our crab meat. This recipe you could probably get away with one pound. I like to use two pounds. I just weighed this and this is just shy of a pound and a half. Or no, just over a pound and a half. So it's gonna be it's gonna be good. We're gonna add most of it and we're gonna keep a little bit at the end to garnish our bowls. But yeah, this this looks like a lot of crab meat now that I'm putting it in here. You can never have too much. We're gonna stir that up. And we'll make ourselves a bowl here in a second. Oh, that looks good. Well, it's almost 10.30 at night, so we should probably eat, right, honey? Yes. All right, here we go. Cream of crab soup. Hand-picked crab meat. Handmates, this is, this is, this is thick. Take that. So, I mean, you can't get this in a restaurant like this. I mean, you'll get mostly cream, but... Not that much crab. A little crab meat on top. You always got to garnish with a little old bay. Bada bing. Let's dine. Alrighty. Charles. I gotta get my cup off. <laughs> you should have warned me. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> I don't know about you, but I'm excited because I'm really hungry. I am too. That's some good cream of crab soup. Jack, can you just say that? No, not at all. This is just a little reminder to make the best out of whatever situation you get yourselves put in. I could have complained about the crabs. I could have taken them back to the place we got them. But I'm like, you know what? I like me some cream of crab soup. And now we it's can make good. a video about cooking cream of crab soup. And I'll tell you what. I'm quite happy right now. I am too. I mean, we still got to sit down and pick the crabs and talk and do everything else you do while picking and eating crabs, but they weren't up to my standards. This is. This is <laughs> yes. It is for them. So, it is delicious. We're going to enjoy the rest of our evening, and I hope you guys do too. God bless. See ya. That's a lot of crab meat. Mm-hmm. That is. I just got a shell. Did you did you pick this one? Mm, maybe I got a shell. You must pick this one. Oh, come on. <laughs> and now you know why uh, right she sticks around. See? Look. Uh, it's right there. Because your boy can cook. <laughs> That's what it is. 